All right. Um, let's see if I covered all my incredibly fascinating points. It seems that the protests, if they're still going on, are still not being covered by the news. Is that true? Are you still noticing that the news is not covering the protests? Um, if there's one thing you need to understand, it's that the news is assigning our opinions. If you, if you could understand that one thing, you would know what needs to be changed in the system. What needs to be changed in the system is you either, you either need more competition for the news so you're not being fed sort of you know, a mainstream narrative, which is what's happening now, or just a, a better way to understand what's going on in your world. Now, let me make a, a general statement that uh, w- when I thought of it, it's sort of a crushing thought, but I think we can get past it. It goes like this. For my entire lifetime and probably several lifetimes before mine, would you agree with the following statement, that humanity has been doing its best to move from a, an emotional, irrational civilization, you know, early, early humanity, to a fact-based, rational, data-driven civilization? You'd accept that as a truth, right? That, we're, that we have really been trying hard to move toward using facts and data to make our decisions. So I, th- I think you'd agree with that. But there was one problem we didn't see coming. And that is that all of our data would be a lie. So we've, we've built an entire civilization to depend on having facts and data that we would then put our analytics on to make decisions. But what we didn't see coming is that 100% of our data is fake. Now, it doesn't have to be. Didn't have to be. But the people who give us the data, at least the stuff we make decisions on in politics, it's all lies. It's all out of context. The videos are all lies. As I said before, there's always something before or after the video, something that's not shown on the video. So we've created a civilization that can't work. Let me say that again. We have consciously created a system, a civilization, that depends on good data to make decisions while also creating a system that guarantees the data will never be good. Not even sometimes. Not even by accident. It will never be good. Because people are making up their versions of their political data. Well, I think I'll leave out this data, because that doesn't support my side. I think I'll leave out the other data, because that doesn't support my side. Oh, all the data turned out to be wrong? Let's run a correction that nobody will see. So we've, we've actually created a system which if you were to look at it objectively, you know, I like to use the example of the, the advanced uh, species of alien land on the planet, and they're the only ones who are unbiased. So they look at, the, they look at our system, and they're trying to study us as just scientists who are, who are dispassionate about our existence. They just want to understand it. They look down and say, all right, what's the system they got there? Okay, good. They really like facts. Excellent. They, they want to use reason and science. Okay, good, good. And now let's look at their facts. Oh, they also invented a system to lie to you on all the facts. All of them. Now, your first thought is like, oh, Scott, you're talking about political facts. You know, I get that. Everybody discounts that because you know both sides are lying about their political facts. Oh, no, I'm not talking about political facts (laughs) because it turns out that all facts are political. You know, it didn't have to be that way. How about gun control facts? How about climate change facts? How about race relations facts? How about economic facts? How about trade relation facts? International facts? Who who got uh, who got gassed and who didn't? Facts. None of it's true. None of it. Absolutely none of it is dependable. In fact, the using of models to predict is sort of a confession that is made up. It really is. <laughs> you know, that's a longer argument. But the models are to fool you into thinking that, they're, that the data is useful. Because if you looked at the data, you'd have questions. You'd say, huh, I'm not sure that data is correct for this reason or that reason. But if you look at the model, it makes you think past the sale, right? The model makes you focus on the model. It doesn't make you focus on the data that went into the model. So that's part of the magic trick. Look at my model. Where'd you get the data? Look at my model. Can I take a look at your data? Look at my model. My model is beautiful. Look at that curve. But where's your data? Have you seen my model? 
So that's the world we've created, one, one in which uh, we consciously build systems that can't work together. You know, one requires facts, and the other, make sure you don't know them. That's the system. So I think we can improve on that, uh, and I think we'll be fine, by the way. Uh, and, and I do agree with the, uh, the uber optimists, the top optimists for the economy. I think the economy is really going to surprise you how well it does. And here's the other thing that the news is lying to you about at the moment. Have you seen all the reporting about the new cases?